hello and welcome to Gina Moon. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Remember that this is a general reading, so take it as a rise. It could be you towards somebody, somebody here towards you. So if you feel the need to reverse the roles, then go ahead and do so. And for any personal readings, the link to my personal readings is down in the description box below. All right, let's see. You are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. And you have here the number two, and it says movement, choices, and decisions. Okay, so there's a time for reflection. There's a time to make a decision, but a decision needs to be made. See how this man, he's standing, okay, across from all of these doors, right? Each one represents something different. One is, you know, on the other side, you can see a blue sky. The other one, there's like this green plant. Another one, there's like this pink kind of, you know, um, horizon and there's two rings in the middle it could represent marriage okay and this last one is money okay the yellow one is money so again there's movement decisions that need to be made about money about marriage about commitment do you choose money do you choose career do you choose marriage right do you choose going off you know on to travel you know what is it that you want to choose so you're going to have to make a choice okay and decision movement choices and decisions so weighing out you know which one's going to benefit you what should you focus on right now but you're going to have to at some point walk through one of those doors okay all right let's see what this is all about here for you what is the situation pertaining to Okay, so let's go ahead and spread out all of these energies. And as you can see here, I have a new camera angle so that you're able to see your entire spread. Then I'm gonna go ahead and clarify each position. So some of you guys may be dealing with, I see the sign of Taurus, okay? Could also be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy. At the bottom of the deck, you have here the chariot could be cancer energy. Whatever sign this is, however, with the chariot, yeah. Remember, movement, choices, and decisions, you're going to have to walk through one of these doors, whether it's money, okay, career, whether you choose love, marriage, commitment, whether you choose to travel, just go single, go on your own, okay, whatever it is, you're going to have to make decisions, okay? And there's something here that you need to confront. This is all about going towards whatever that door is that you choose with determination, okay, with confidence that that's the one for you. No hesitation because here with the chariot, the chariot only goes into battle because he's so sure of himself. He knows that he's going to win the battle. He feels prepared, he feels ready, and he is determined. So you have to go through that door, walk through that door with confidence, okay? And if there's something here that you need to confront, okay, then now is the time to confront the situation or confront a person about whatever this is okay now also here with the eight of wands this is the situation the situation pertains to something that's going to start moving forward very very quickly which is why this is telling you you have to start making a decision you have to start weighing out the pros cons pluses minuses because that decision time is coming and you know if right now you've been you know kind of staying in the interim period in order to think things through sure that's fine and, and all but at some point very soon, this situation is going to start moving forward very, very quickly. As soon as you walk through that door, things are going to start moving forward, okay, very fast. And so there's going to be a lot of back and forth communication, a lot of back and forth emails, texting, that kind of thing. Could also be travel plans, but a lot of fast forward moving energy, okay, a lot of progress that's going to be made is what I'm seeing here. With the tower also, this is basically in your challenge position. So in your challenge position with the tower moment, yeah, I do see that some some kind of shocking news, shocking revelation is going to happen, okay? There's something here that is changing rapidly in your life. It's about to happen. It's already happened for some of you guys, okay? And it's not easy for you to deal with this. It's not going to be easy for you to deal with just kind of like, oh, whoa, where did that come from, right? Like you were not expecting something to happen and then bam, it just happens, right? It could be the crumbling of something. It could be a change in direction. It could be, you know, something, just something unexpected that's about to happen. So try, you know, try to not resist 
these changes because these changes are trying to take you to a new level okay of your life a lot of time people try to push away those changes they try to resist those changes they hold on for dear life to the past you know or to their current circumstances no they don't want things to change you know but you need to go with the flow go with these changes is what this is saying okay don't resist them it's taking you to some place better. With the 10 of pentacles also, you desire abundance. You desire money. For others of you guys, you desire commitment. You desire marriage. You desire, you know, to be in perhaps surrounded by, um, you know, family members, friends. You want this kind of like, you know, energy here of perhaps for some of you guys, commitment, like I said, and for others could be a business partnership. You do desire to be financially stable in a stable connection in a stable marriage with a stable job. You want to have the abundance, the big house, right? That kind of thing. Okay. This is a lot of money here, a lot of pentacles, but that also represents something that you want to commit to. Okay. You want commitment here. Okay. In some kind of way. Okay. Now here with the king of wands, this is the root of the issue. The root of the issue is that somebody here is lacking self-esteem okay whether this is you or somebody else the root of the issue is somebody here is needing to work through you know the energy of mm, their self-worth issues somebody here doesn't believe in themselves somebody here needs to really work through and heal parts of them that have gone and healed that are not allowing this person to believe in who they are okay this person again self-esteem issues for others of you guys you might be dealing with a person who is very egotistical who's very manipulative and who might be very controlling okay now also here at the Hierophant in the recent past I see that you were either in a marriage you were in a commitment there was some kind of high, higher level of commitment in the recent past okay and so I feel like because you come from that, you know, kind of energy of uh, something stable, that's something that you want, okay? Whether, again, like I said, it's a past union, it's a past job that gave you the, that sense of, you know, stability uh, or a committed connection, whatever this is, I feel like something here was very stable, okay, in the recent past. Now, coming towards you in your opportunity and in the near future, you're going to have the opportunity in the near future to finally, finally heal heartbreak to finally heal from this three of swords energy that made you feel like you know you couldn't move on with your life perhaps you know this was a very difficult time for you and it probably still is for some of you guys but the good news is that in the near future you will have an opportunity to finally release the pain, okay? Finally release the pain and only take with you, uh, you know, those experiences that have taught you good things, that have, you know, taught you lessons. You're going to take with you the lessons and finally leave that past behind. But this is something that you have to do consciously. When that opportunity shows up, okay, you're going to know it, you're going to sense it, and remember, let that pain go, okay? So healing is on the way, on the horizon. That's why it's telling you it's time for you to make decisions okay about your life confront something confront a situation in your subconscious thoughts however you have here the eight of swords so you know you're operating from a place of perhaps fear you're letting your fear take over your mind you're letting you know perhaps your circumstances take over you know your situation instead of you again, you know, kind of like being confident in yourself. Okay. That's where this is coming from. You need to be confident in yourself, believe in yourself and know that you're able, okay. You're capable of releasing and freeing yourself from bondage, bondage to uh, the past, bondage to perhaps a uh, current circumstance, whether it's a relationship, a job, family related, love related, whatever this is. Okay. But this is telling you stop making excuses as to why you have to stay stuck in a situation that is not making you happy. You don't have to stay there, but you do need to be truthful and honest with yourself about what is it that you have to do as far as sacrifices in order for you to get to where you want to be. Okay. Sometimes people stay stuck in connection jobs, situations that they hate, that they don't like, that they're unhappy in. They keep making excuses every single day. Oh, they hate it because of this. Oh, their boss is mean to them. Oh, their lover is no longer paying attention to them. Oh, their ex-wife, their ex-husband is giving them a hard time, right? There's something here that you need to do that you haven't done, okay? Uh, that perhaps it may not be easy for you to do, but 
the universe is saying, hey, I'm giving you the answer. You just have to be honest with yourself. Stop denying the answer. So when you kind of cut off that blindfold of denial, guess what? You free yourself and you liberate yourself from the circumstances that are weighing you down. Now, what the Page of Cups is saying is that, yeah, somebody here is interested in getting to know you, okay? This individual is offering you a gesture of love or they're about to offer you a gesture of love. They are interested in getting to know you and seeing more of you. They have romantic feelings for you. And your action advice is, look at that. Go into this, create a very, very strong emotional bond, okay? Don't be afraid to love. Don't be afraid of commitment, okay? If something here in your past didn't work out, hey, that wasn't meant for you. But your action advice is go towards love, go towards something that will create security for you, that will create that sense of family kind of, you know, dynamic, right? This is the happy family, the happy home, the 10 cups filled with love. So this is, you know, the potential here for you. But again, this is your action advice, go towards something here that will kind of create that sense of commitment, that sense of, um, that sense of stability for you. Okay. And with the queen of swords, yeah, I do see that. Look at that. You've learned so much about life. Okay. You've learned, you know, you've experienced things you've gone through ups, highs, lows. Okay. And now you're coming out as a smarter version of yourself. Okay. Don't be afraid. Okay. To, open up to new things, to new people, because you have the knowledge here. You are standing in the power of the queen of swords. Okay. If you see any red flags, you are going to be able to cut them off, you know, right away because you're holding that sword, right? That sort of knowledge. So that sort of truth. Okay. So I do sense that what this is also indicating is don't go into things wearing your heart on your sleeve, go into the situation. Okay. Uh, again, with your mind, right? Knowledge being, being knowledgeable because these experiences that have caused this pain, you don't go through these experiences just because, right? You go through these experiences so that your soul can grow, so that your soul can learn these lessons and not only learn them, but now apply them, right? Apply those lessons to your current circumstances. We're going to be going into the extended reading, however, to see who this person is, because I see that this person has romantic feelings for you. There is potential for you guys to create this kind of beautiful family dynamic, a beautiful union. So again, if you want to watch the extended reading, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. That's where we dive deeper into the situation, into this other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you, what's going to be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from Spirit. So if you want to check out the link to the extended, it's down in the description box below. And in the extended reading is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to develop and turn out for you, what will be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from spirit. So if you want to check out the link to the extended, you can now find the link to the extended down in the first comment that is pinned down below, as well as in the description box below. And I finally got good news from YouTube regarding the situation that has been happening with my channel. Make sure that if you do like these videos, if you do want to support the channel, comment down below, even if it's just commenting down an emoji, it really helps support me and my channel. And now you can check out all of your readings that I've posted for your sign in the first comment that is um, pinned down below. You will find all of your weekly readings from this week. Last week, you will also find all of your monthly readings for this entire month, your mid-monthly readings, your blessings readings, and more. So make sure to check out the first comment that is pinned down below so that you can check out all of those readings for your sign for this entire month. Thank you all so much for your support. Take very good care of yourselves and until next time, bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with some 
psychic soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.